So today we are off to Decorex, but before we get to Decorex, we are going to have a meeting with the building contractor, the main contractor at the Chelsea job. He just has a few things that I need to know about. And so we're gonna have a quick discussion. And then after that, we are going straight off to Decorex, where hopefully I can show you all the exciting innovations in interior design. Let's get started. Just had a meeting with the contractor, lots going on there tiling going up, uh, a few extra bits of tiling that we will need and apart from that I need to speak to the chimney people because they haven't been getting back to my builders and so we are now in a bit of a quandary of what we need and who's doing what. Uh, this is one of the problems is when clients arrange things with different suppliers and suddenly some things fall through the cracks and we don't have the information that we need so that's where we are at the minute. So now I'm going to be going off to Decorex. So hopefully we should be able to see some fabulous fabrics, wallpapers, lights, tables, chairs, and everything else. Let's see what the world has in store for the interior design industry next year. I'm not quite sure why we have sheep, but we do. Aren't they lovely? I presume they're promoting the wool <laughs> department. So welcome to Decorex. So here we are. We've had a little bit of a, a bus ride on the shuttle. So I got off the tube. The shuttle bus is often waiting for us there. Decorex actually do uh, this sort of thing very, very well. The organisation is great. So we're going to go inside and see exactly what we can find. Um, I think there'll be lots to see. We, I've already actually got the brochure. The brochure was actually left on the seat. Um, of a little minibus that we were in. So I've been leafing through that. A lot of the companies, probably about 80% I know of already, but there are a 20% that I don't know, so it'd be quite good to explore those. Let's go inside. So here is the brochure, and as you can see, it's quite comprehensive. At the top here, we've got the stone and ceramic warehouse. Now I've actually used the stone and ceramic warehouse quite a lot. Um, I know Joe, and I know all the different uh, websites and everything else. Um, but here it details everything that you would need to know. It's got everything that you would need to contact that person. Um, and this just carries on for basically all the other different suppliers and exhibitors here. So you can just basically go through each and every single one of them and find exactly what you need. And just if you flick through, you can kind of sort of see um, the breadth, um, uh, what they have. They have obviously the stand numbers, websites, a little bit of blurb about them. Um, and so you can never sort of um, lose the sort of contacts that you may have made or you think that you've seen. Um, at the back they have a product index, you can go straight to that, find out where they are and find out what stand they're in. And then at the right at the back um, you have an actual map and the map is obviously of the whole show. Um, obviously there's different themes so you have different things in the middle, um, there's obviously different things there like you know, sound and then there's you know, sort of sight and everything else. Champagne bar is obviously always good to go to um, and all the rest of that smell and I think uh, that's something else there. So um, either way you're not really going to be losing out, it's a really good item to have with you. Have a flick through, um, well, worth, well worth getting and it's free so why wouldn't you use it when you can? Here is the press room. Now, if you are a vlogger or a blogger or something else, you can get accreditation. Uh, so you need to speak to the organizers um, and that will give you a free badge. And as you can see here, you have access to all these different um, bits of paraphernalia that all the different suppliers leave here. Well worth picking up um, on your way in or probably on your way out as they can be quite heavy. But this is the place to go if you want to be a press person. So this is what you're faced with, a rather large carousel uh, showcasing some um, quite important uh, work actually. It's, they always make a bit of a spectacle as you sort of come in, so it, this looks great. It's a great big huge carousel um, and obviously drawing board here. This is how they used to do it um, before the days of CAD. It's quite a nice little uh, sort of installation to see here, quite colourful. Um, and most of these things are sort of done sort of collaboration between a couple of different designers. It's uh, really interesting to see. This one's lovely. This is um, Osborne and Little, and they did a collaboration with Matthew Williamson. So it's really 
brightly coloured um, and quite a spectacle to see. Um, but that's nice, um, very pretty. Uh, lots of people uh, taking pictures of this. And so um, also right at the front, obviously they have had competitions. So they had a holiday home competition. So people put some things together. So here are some sort of uh, drawings, pictures, renderings, um, and sort of the winners, all the different uh, nominations and the different um, applicants coming in. Um, quite, it makes actually um, interesting reading. You can actually see how people have put things together, why they've put them together um, and everything. So it's, it's well worth having a quick look at those. As you go through, there is a map. Obviously, you've got one in the brochure, as I've just shown you, but um, there is a map there of everything if you wanted to see it. If you didn't have your brochure with you, um, you could uh, have a look at that. Tom Faulkner, um, front of house there. Great little spot. Um, lots of things to see. We're going to have a bit of a whistle stop tour as we go through so you can see exactly who's here and who's not. Um, waterworks. Now, Waterworks were quite a new addition. They've only been around in London um, for a, a short period of time. They're American. Um, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Um, look at that. Let's have a closer look at that. It's beautifully um, textured, actually. Really nice. Um, there. This is the good thing about Decorex, you can actually see things in situ, how they're supposed to look. Um, really lovely coloured panels there, lots of people um, weaving in and out. This is the last day of Decorex, so it's uh, not too busy here. Gosh, they're doing a roaring trade there, extremely busy. Um, Warwick, yes, Warwick Fabrics, very popular. Um, Chloe Aubrey, ah, now you need to have a look at this. Chloe Aubrey does fantastic handles. Um, they're based in London, um, but they're all different. So you've got shells, you've got wood, um, obviously all the, you know, the normal typical brass, etc., etc. But they have some really fun ones. So if you're into your tennis <laughs> or cricket, as you can see here, you can have all of these sorts of handles for your doors. Um, they have some really interesting ones as well uh, that you kind of wouldn't expect. Um, so here we've got some of the, ch which are cars, little toy cars. Imagine those. Imagine putting these on your doors. I'm not sure I can, but someone will. So they're um, really, really interesting to actually have a look and see what there is. Obviously, they come in the normal silver and chrome and everything else. But obviously, they have other ones too, such as glass. Um, and then they have sort of shells, other sorts of different resins. Uh, some of these are extremely popular and they're really beautiful. And they don't cost the earth, which is the other thing. Um, here's see here some of the um, more sort of stone um, ones that she has. And of course, obviously the ubiquitous normal brass handles, door knockers that you can get. Um, so well worth a look for Chloe Aubrey. Moving on, as you can see here, obviously now this is obviously carpets. Everything as you can see is all mixed all in together. So you've got furniture um, next to lighting, um, you know, obviously upholstery you have here. We'll just make a bit of a, a detour down. And as you can see here, they're obviously making trades, making sales as they go. Um, it's, I'm, I'm so glad it's actually not that busy um, here, that Arling Cruster, yes. Um, they're a really good firm to use, very textured stuff. And as you walk through, you can see all the other different um, things that each company has to showcase. So you can go up, touch, feel, get prices, talk about lead times, um, and really discover um, different places that you just wouldn't have been to before. Um, some things would be more expensive than others. Um, there's no particular way of how they've put this whole thing together. Um, some things you will know, some things you won't. The exhibitor and sales lounge, that's obviously for the people that are working here. And if you wanted to contact the organizers, that's where you would go. Other than that, um, your place as a designer will be in other places, which we'll come on to later on. Someone doing beds. Um, obviously, there's uh, quite a few things coming up. Oh, rug couture. Rug couture is um, great. Rug couture is actually, it's, I've been going, I think, since about 2008, 2009, something like that. And as you can see, they, ha they have show you little tufts. These are the tufts. And these things here, um, you can put all sorts of different colors and designs together. So they are, literally, it is you creating your own rug. Not the cheapest, but they're great. Robin Sprong over there. And see that the exhibition carries on down there. We've got lots to see. But we'll carry on so you can see exactly this snapshot. 
as you go through Vicebring, that's obviously beds there. These are mattresses, uh, very well known within the industry. Um, so not surprised that they're here. And then uh, Rolls Wall Carpets, that's a nice runner, isn't it? Um, you could actually order here if you ever needed to do this type of thing. Um, it's one of these places where you can do as much or as little as you want to. If you just want to come and view like I was today, that's great. Let's have a look at this lighting because lighting is always a really good thing to see. Now, these, this is really interesting, isn't it? Um, imagine putting this into somebody's home. You'd have to have a very brave client, um, but they are... It's a fabulous one to actually uh, look at, isn't it? Let's have a quick, closer look at that. The Dune, I think this is. Beautiful. Very special. Um, other places are far more cool, calm and collected. Um, you can people do sit down on these things if you're wondering can I sit down you can there are other places to sit down but uh, this is actually a very beautiful set that they've uh, put together it's Ginger and Jagger um, they're great they're uh, over in Chelsea Harbour as well another beautiful set always good to actually walk through some of these places where you can you see actually a lot of these um, sort of lights dotted around but it's worth actually seeing who's supplying them and sometimes get better prices walking through what else do we have mm, lots of textures lots of fabrics Champagne bar, of course. They always do this really well. There's usually something in the central stage, which is this. So um, they've done this really well. So there's places to sit. You can obviously sit at the bar over there. I think I might sit there in a moment. Um, beautiful panelling as well. That's uh, really well done. Um, and then you can just sort of hang out, take your time. Um, and they... That's a lovely chandelier there. Some sort of fake candle bulbs there which are great pacing your way through the champagne bar we won't stop quite yet to have a look at more of these items here very cool car calm and collected a car more fabrics this is really interesting oh how sweet so almost like animated lights um, could be seen as a sculpture as well. be really interesting to see exactly whether you have a client that would uh, suit that. I think only a few would. Um, but that's fine. Very, very busy in here. Let's make our way past, past the carpets. Basins. Bathroom wear. Hello. <laughs> and then through there's some shears now this is timorous beasties um they have some fabulous stuff very well worth to go to their instagram account or their twitter account because they do tweet really interesting things their fabrics are absolutely lovely um have a look at those that's uh, timorous beasties well worth a look at those obviously oh there's some sculpting going on now this is great so obviously people are just watching as they're doing this but you do get these pop-up workshops going on um, and these artisans doing some work um, literally in front of you. Here we have, obviously, there's some um, candles. Everything everything gets sold here, everything for the interiors, including art. People often forget about art. Um, there are a few of them dotted around, and it's worth thinking about that. People often think about art right at the end, but it is worth uh, taking into consideration both new art and any art that your client has. Ginger Lily, doing well, doing good business there. That's beautiful, isn't it? that in a moment um, some lovely lamps look at that look at the texture on that shade unusual to see it um, and more texture obviously there from Villa Verde with their huge gold installation um, interesting lighting more prints everybody uh, the seminar theatre we'll come back to that a bit later on they do have uh, oh Tebow Tebow beautiful fabrics and wallpapers um, French but they're sort of from America if you like um, hmm, association with Lincruster but well worth going to 
Tebow, if you want something a little bit different. They do have some fabulous fabrics. Interesting panelling here for your flooring. You can pick up some samples here. I wouldn't necessarily advise it. Sometimes they can get very heavy, so I'd probably rule that out. Alternative flooring, maybe I should go and pop in for the Chelsea job. Have you got my order? Is it ready? Uh, well, we're seeing that alternative flooring are always around. Past the seminar theatre, let's have a look what else is going on down this section, which is the other side of the exhibition here now. Lots of people still buying. Chandeliers. Vaughan. Now, Vaughan Lighting, really well known within the industry. Now, they've uh, really come along, have a great website as well. Um, lots of lanterns that you can see here, but they do some ornate stuff as well. Uh, there's no trade prices on their site. Uh, call them up and we'll give you a quote. Very, very pretty rugs. Interesting designs. Furniture in situ. Quite tempted to get in that bed. And then... Obviously, you have obviously parquet flooring. So there's lots of uh, wooden flooring companies in places like this. I haven't seen Ted's yet. They're probably going to be around. Um, shutters, everything for windows. You've got to remember that. Rupert Bevan. Rupert Bevan is a very uh, is a bespoke sort of cabinet and furniture maker, and their prices reflect that. But if you have a client that wants something a one-off, a truly one-off. spiky lights and here we have crucial trading crucial trading uh, they do fabulous natural rugs you can see here all the different samples that they do so you can go up and grab those they do different um, rugs with different borders uh, really clever all made to measure heated towel rails if you're wondering where they are here they are Barden Bradia Crucial Trading, let's have a look, who else? Oh, some really nice new fabrics here. Ah, uh, Precision Textiles. Precision Textiles um, have been going for a long while. They're in John Lewis, if you're in London, if you're in the UK. Um, they do a lot of prestigious textiles. Uh, beautiful, actually. People kind of forget about them. They seem to sort of go with everybody, um, sort of one of the big brand names. They're great. Sweet little lighting there. Let's move through. It's quite nice down here. Look at some really interesting sort of lighting. Look at this. Castro lighting. So really quite special if you've got um, a hallway, something grand, something that can handle these types of chandeliers. Very pretty. Quite blingy. You have to have the right client for them. But you'd be surprised. Um, and then, of course, obviously, the, uh, the normal sort of, far more normal sort of lanterns. Very Art Deco in here. It's quite nice. Next is some rugs. More carpets. Nice. That's sofa and more. Newton Paisley, it's a nice sweet little place. We're now in the design, sense and sound. I feel like I want to dance. What do you think? Showing off the speakers. interlude we'll just carry on let's have a look down here digital printing over there that's great nice to see that ah passimentary people often wonder about passimentary what is passimentary i'll tell you what it is this this is passimentary 
uh, all the tassels, all the trimmings, all those things that go on upholstery, um, all those sorts of little bits that go on curtains, little accoutrements, that's what passementerie is. Not that many people that do it. Uh, this is quite glossy. Interesting, digital printed carpet there. Quite smart. More fabric. Interesting lighting. Fenders. I'm wondering if you've got a fenders. These are fenders. They go around fireplaces. It's old school, um, but there's very few people doing it nowadays. It might be worth having, I wonder. Like going and grab some of my clients, the Chelsea job. I haven't thought about fenders for them. I think I might grab something. Don't mind me. <laughs> have a client. Very handy. It's going on my vlog. More people. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. No problem. What tends to happen when you come to these places is you get a ticket. When you pay for a ticket, you get a badge. Your badge looks something like this. And what happens is it's got a, it has a barcode on it. And so all the different people here, the suppliers, if you come and visit their stand, they want to get back in touch with you. So they have a little handheld recorder and they zap your ticket and they can get into contact with you. It's a really good system. And here are some uh, pianos. Everything gets sold at Decorec, so pianos. Um, that's some technology, and here, which reminds me of what's going on outside. Sheep, would you like some? Would you like some sculptures? Sheep and other cattle. It's quite funny. And over here, here's some basins. Now, if you want some basins to sit on top of a worktop for your bathroom, some great designs there. More fabric. Some really interesting here. Some black and white prints uh, for wallpaper. Don't see black and white these days. Um, gardens are also represented here, though not so much so. These are obviously some uh, heritage planters. You don't see many gardens, but um, that's one or two things here next to furniture, ubiquitous furniture. Ah, this is Ptolemy Mann. He's a textile designer. Um, beautiful rugs here. He's really, really done well. Um, and some other interesting bits to look at. I don't think we're quite ready yet to go to the food section. We shall, or are we? I think we'll, uh, I think we'll move on. Sofa.com, very well known on the UK High Street. Uh, they've also got a spot here. And this is Jo Downs, who is a glass designer. Uh, she's actually based out of Cornwall. Uh, very, very pretty stuff. Lots of art deco, colorful stuff. Really well done. Love a bit of glass. Lots of artisan lighting companies and glass companies here, all showing off their very various different wares. Very pretty stuff. Next is our now. This is Naomi Paul. Now Naomi Paul, she does beautiful light. She's an artisan lighting designer, and these are all made out of yarn. Sort of, if you can see, sort of like wools and cottons. Uh, it's all bespoke made. She does make them for the U.S. as well if that's your thing. And this is Margot Selby. It's a beautiful fabrics here that you can obviously frame, which is another good way of doing things. Oh, the Decorex Cafe. Hmm. In association with Howes, I'm sure you've all heard of Howes. I'm on there if you want to come and find me. I don't do much on there, but I am to be found on there if you want to. Lots of handleware, cushions, of course. Um, everything is represented here at Decorex. There's no order, if you like. And you obviously get to see all the um, interesting textile and furniture artisans that are around, both international and obviously UK. It's obviously, this is slightly smaller, as you can imagine, um, from Maison d'Objet, but um, it's still worth coming along to, so you can see some stuff. Lots of different floorings. Unusual flooring company there. Let's 
have a look through, see what else we have. So we're moving into, we'll go back to the centre. Country Life is actually doing something. Remember those, um, the different senses? We've obviously heard sound. This is about touch. Now this is obviously very much why they're sort of focusing on wool because wool obviously does have a huge amount of texture to it. So Country Life have done their little setup here, which is obviously something to do with uh, what they've got outside. The V&A, Victoria and Albert Museum, has its own design section. Uh, well worth a visit to their website to see all the different fabrics and things that they've got in conjunction with other associates of theirs. Beautiful stuff. Surface View. Ooh, we all know about Surface View. If you want some murals, head to Surface View. They've got a great website. Lots of choice. We'll walk up to the design sense of smell. It's quite nice when it's quite peaceful like this. You can actually walk around without fighting your way through. It can be a very, very busy place to be. It's quite nice. It's the first time I've actually... Um, been here on the last day of the of the show. It's quite nice. Some lighting here. Well worth seeing everything. It's where you get to see all the different things in situ. Champagne bar at the end. We'll have a look at that later. quite a nice little champagne bar actually you have the chance to sit down and breathe just for a, just for a few moments sculptures don't see so much of it um, people have seemed to have gone off sculpture for the moment but some very lovely stuff to see Tectura they deal with wall coverings there's a blog post on my website about those interesting stuff. There's some woodwork here, so I'll have a quick look at uh, It's quite interesting. I'll spin around and have a look at these for you. Hmm. Where could I use those? Pretty, pretty. Benchmark beautiful company. Made in England. It's a nice palette, very calming. Will go well for an awful lot of clients. That whole kind of taupe and greys. Let's head back past country life. Come into the other end. Pretty lighting there. Quite nice being able to look through and actually walk through. They're almost like room sets. Again, very much like Maison d'Objet, but um, pool tables, games rooms, uh, they all have to be represented. You'd be amazed what people ask for. Pinball machines, jukeboxes, beds, of course. Um, the good thing about it is it is all mixed up, so you don't think, oh, I've missed the bed section. Um, you have it's like a, a complete feast for your eyes it's really nice to see you could spend hours going around here um, ooh, some lovely lighting coming up I mean they're like sculptures as you can kind of see you have to again you'd have to have the right client to use them um, and they wouldn't be cheap these are lovely plaids World of Interiors, even magazines have their spot for places like this. Let's have a quick look down here. I don't think we've been down this run yet. Fabric. Fabric to do everything with. Oh, Lasford. See, I've put these in uh, to a recent job a few things if you want to get some last bit lighting can highly recommend those 
home cinema, something that I'm looking into very much at the moment uh, with the amount of technology that I'm doing, um, the amount of things that you can get for your smart home these days, staggering. And I think this is where we came in. I remember bathrooms, crucial trading. We'll have a look back up here. Where to go next? It's quite comfortable here. This is on site. Sofas, lots of sculpture. See that. I'll see that another time. Interesting glassware here and ceramics. Accessories as well as the larger things are obviously always in evidence here. It's a nice way to actually display just through some ring pools. Clark and Clark, very well known fabric designer. Beautiful stuff they have. So colourful, these different murals and tapestries. Things that people don't really think about these days. It is it is worth sort of thinking outside the box sometimes. People just think about wallpaper and fabric, but they don't realise some of the other murals and tapestries and wall hangings that you can get. This is almost coming back to front of house, which is great. I had a good look round. Tiring, but worth it. seminars are right at the end. It's worth probably having a look. Um, seminars are on pretty much throughout the entire program, throughout the entire conference. So you can go and see people speak. You can go and see um, people have debates, etc, etc. Um, you can just pop into what you want to see, but you, there's obviously a limited amount of space, so it's worth booking in early if you're going to go and see some stuff if you want to see a particular person discussing a particular subject. Uh, the programme is, is obviously published in advance so you can book yourself in. Um, but it's usually very busy. I n usually I never have the time, but it, sometimes it's quite nice to go and have a look um, and at least catch one or two seminars. Here's the programme. So that's all from Decorex for this year. Thanks for coming with me. I hope you found it useful to see what it's like at this event. And I'll see you here again for tomorrow's diary. Happy designing.